So really just wanted to take a, a, a temperature check. You know, for those of you who have attended uh, several sessions throughout the course of the week, um, you know, and maybe those of you uh, who haven't been able to attend, you know, every session that you may have wanted to, really wanted to give you just a couple of my thoughts um, as we move through the, you know, this fifth and final day of the, of the uh, 2022 Retirement Academy. You know, for the folks who are, are unfortunately work with and for me here at Definity, um, they know whenever we have our either virtual, you know, beginning of year kickoff meetings or our national meetings, um, you know, towards the end of summer, um, every August, you know, there's always tons of content in there and you're not going to retain everything that goes through. So typically what I ask my folks are, what are the one or two things that have really stood out to you? And, you know, I'd like to give you a little bit of a recap of what I've seen and what I've heard throughout the course of the week. So, so obviously on, on Monday, we started with um, Christabel Cook from the, from the principal, um, you know, discussed cybersecurity and cybersecurity best practices for record keepers and for TPA firms. Um, at Definity, it was actually, there were a lot of folks where the DOAL guidelines for best practices for cybersecurity for, for TPAs, it was a game changer for them from an expense management perspective for their firms. Um, you know, they may have had a, a good friend or a family member, you know, as their IT person, you know, in their firm. You know, one of the, one of the benefits of working with Definity is that you know, those DOL uh, cybersecurity guidelines were a non-issue and it, you know, it didn't change anything, you know, that we were doing day to day. We already have significant investments in our cybersecurity infrastructure. We have an in-house chief technology officer. We, we have a, a documented cybersecurity policy that we're willing to share with any of our clients or advisors with whom we work. So, you know, I think what, what Christabel shared was really just a reminder of why you should work with some of the folks like Definity and Principal and our other great record keeping partners throughout the course of the week whom you're working with. And the day will come when record keepers begin determining which TPAs they're going to work with if they don't have good cybersecurity practices and policies in place. So knowing that you have a great partner in Definity in that regard, I think should be top of mind as, you're, as you uh, keep that uh, subject and, and make that a topic of conversation with your clients. Steve Wagner from Penchex uh, joined us regarding the challenge of finding lost participants in 401k plans. There's certainly going to be more to come in, you know, uh, you know, as we move into 2023 there. But keep in mind, Definity's comprehensive full scope 316 services. That is going to be a service that we'll be looking to launch and include within our 316 scope of services going forward. And um, then finally, uh, Rachel Welker from Tira Price joined us regarding, you know, you know, what we need to do in order to improve participant outcomes. And be, uh, and be aware of participant behavior, especially in the changing and market environments that we've experienced from the beginning of this year through, through the end of the year, and really relying on our key record keeping partners for that, lot, that thought leadership. Um, participant education is no longer specific to how you enroll in a plan and how you should be allocated among investment options in the plan. There are a lot more things that, that go into that. And you have tremendous tools through our partners in order to ensure that you're addressing those issues as you continue to provide education solutions for your clients, for your plan sponsor clients and their participants. On Tuesday, Kevin Spaeth joined us from Empower uh, to discuss the K-Quote program uh, and lead generation program with, with Empower. So always great, not just to tweak your, you know, to tweak your, your expertise from a thought leadership perspective, but also as a reminder on hey, how do I go about prospecting in the space and how can I be most effective? Erica Masenko from my team, our Director of Strategic Accounts then joined to discuss the Definity Distinguished Partner Program or DDP program. That's our program that targets uh, an additional layer of service and practice management solutions for our key advisors who have significant books of business with our organization. Uh, you know, this is truly the launch of the Definity Distinguished Partner Program. We're delighted to, for our advisors who are already in the program, to continue to offer you more comprehensive uh, service solutions, but then also working with those advisors who are looking to build their business to do more and to assist them, you know, as an extension of their practice to build their business. And then finally, Matt Fessler from Lincoln joined us at the end of the day on Tuesday to talk about DC best practices, you know, in the midst of volatile markets you know, how the combination of not only record keeping services, but investment management services, you know, that holy grail, if you will, between investment management, record keeping, you know, admin services, 316 services through, through TPAs, you know, such as Definity, 
why that's so important in managing your client relationships. On Wednesday, Cassie Churchill from Voya joined us uh, to discuss financial wellness. It's really a hot topic. Financial wellness before used to simply mean how are you allocated within your 401k. Now it means what type of information and support are you getting for you know, debt management, for budgeting, you know, all of those items. And you know, one big topic of conversation right now is that there are some record keepers who are utilizing financial wellness as a way to sell something else to participants. And other advisors or, or excuse me, other record keepers are, you know, are attacking the financial wellness opportunity really more so as an extension of an advisor's practice. So the advisor can have those conversations through the tools that the record keeper is providing. So it's always good to know who's offering what and how, what type of support you're getting. And Voya is certainly one of the industry leaders in, in providing financial wellness programs that are advisor driven. Spoke briefly about plan sponsor link, uh, the new way for our plan sponsors and advisors to access um, all of their plan related data for the book of business that they have with Definity. And then we wrapped up the day on, on Wednesday with Bob Tonelli from John Hancock and several folks on his team talking about the modern 401k advisor and how to go about prospecting, how you go about managing your practice, what you can do to be adding the most value to the clients you're prospecting in the space. Uh, yesterday morning, we had probably the most timely legislative and regulatory update on retirement record, yet just two days after our elections, we had Jason Bortz and, uh, and Karen Jerishan from American Funds Capital Group join us to give us a legislative and regulatory update. And while things we don't have complete clarity on, on everything, I think um, we would all agree that things are going to be moving a bit more quickly now between now and year end. And as we head into 2023 from the legislative and regulatory environment surrounding retirement plans. So it's now more important than ever to ensure that you're staying in touch with your Definity regional sales consultant and regional sales director to ensure that you're staying on top of, you know, all of those changes in the, in the technical, technical environment surrounding retirement plans. Um, I had the pleasure yesterday of, uh, of talking about Definity Direct the launch of our new payroll integration service for both TPA clients as well as 316 clients. That will really be a game changer for not only the services that we provide and the efficiencies built um, in that segment, but also a great opportunity for the advisors with whom we work to ensure that plan sponsors have the opportunity to pay attention to the responsibility of managing their business day to day, running their business day to day, and taking additional uh, job responsibilities off their plate. And then finally, yesterday, John Fortune from, um, from Transamerica joined us to discuss how retirement savings really no longer just means your 401k plan, your cash balance plan, but how it also means health savings accounts, flexible spending accounts, emergency savings accounts altogether as additional retirement savings resources for participants. And then obviously, Matt King, Norm Gaskins, and Dave Foley just joined us this morning to discuss cash balance plans. So before um, I, I make my next introduction to our, our final speaker um, and segment of the day, I wanted to, to open it up to see if there were any advisors or folks um, who have joined us today who may have you know, any general questions regarding the content and the sessions that we've put together so far this week.